City Series cigars and Citrus 7s, Black Cement 3s, 4s, the hairs and bread 11s. No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting. With these Doran Becker 5s, you can see me in any lighting. It's exciting. I'll be flexing to the coldest degree. What's up, everybody? Sneakerhead M Checks. Today, I'll be reviewing these hair 6s set to release June 5th. Now, I know I said that I'll be reviewing the Flynn 13s next, but these came in way earlier than expected, so I ain't see any point in waiting. I have the Hair 7s with me just for reference because the Hair 6s were obviously inspired by these. This is the 2008 pair from the Countdown Package, and this is the OG pair from 1992. But let's take a look at these 6s. Check them out. Now, I want to get close because obviously I know how these look. Y'all seen on the pictures on the internet. Every other review shows them at that angle. Let's, let's get in real, real close. Y'all can see the details. Now, I love the front of these. They favor the sevens most from this angle, so I think that's why. <laughs> the suede on these is so nice. It feels just like it does on the sevens and ones. This part right here gives me Carmine vibes. Not the most attractive lace locks, but I know they were meant to match the tongue, so they get the pass. Um, I'm not sure how well this translucent tongue is going to hold up over time, but it sure looks nice now with the little hair pattern on it and stuff. Here's the other one because y'all know they don't the pattern is never the same, you know from one tongue to the next You know as you can see with any of the sevens They never make it the same from tongue to tongue now. I always thought sevens and sixes had their similarities, but they ain't never looked this much alike <laughs> I feel like they could have done a little bit better on the leather I mean, it's not bad, but as you can see some parts are more smooth than others But uh this way this way got it and here's the other side Now the midsole on these sixes looks like backwards to me because I'm so used to there being color right here and this part being like a see-through clear. Where here, this is white and then this is like a see-through red. But when you look at the sevens, you see why they did them like that because they kind of got the same thing going on down here. Here they are from the back, once again heavily resembling the sevens. They got the purple jump man where the sevens had the purple 23 and the little green part at the bottom. Now this inside is beautiful. You got the hair print on the back of the tongue just the way it is on the front, except it's not translucent. And you also have it here on the insole with the white jump man. Here are the soles, which I think look very nice. I'm a sucker for red and purple combined together, so these really do it for me. Pretty similar looking to the hair seven sole as well. And last but not least, the box. Now, I kind of don't want to say this because I do like the hair sixes and I don't want to sound like I'm trying to play them, but this box is arguably one of the best parts of this release. Like, I might be gassing it, but look, they did the damn thing on this. They got the big carrot on the top, Jumpman logos, Air Jordan over here, but inside, this is what topped it all off for me. This paper, the hair pattern on the paper really is fire to me. And here's the box label. So I got these through GOAT and the seller was from overseas, so... That's why there is no uh, U.S. suggested retail price, but retail on these is going to be $190. All right, maybe the box isn't the best part because I'm looking at these and these things are nice. But the box is still fire. I mean, the carrot on top and the, and the paper inside, I thought that was creative. Now, here's my opinion on these. This is a very nice shoe, and they did a great job on making the sixes a hair colorway. So, Jordan Brand is three for three with the hairs. Sevens, ones, sixes all fire but these resemble the seven so much i honestly don't even know if it's worth somebody like me keeping these see i love the hair seven so much i feel like if i did keep these i'd never wear them and y'all know i like to wear my kicks if they wearable they should be worn at least at some point see the way i see it is any outfit that i'm gonna wear with these sixes will definitely match these sevens too and i just don't see myself putting on an outfit that matches the sixes that obviously matches these sevens too and walking out of the crib with the sixes on and leaving the sevens at home nothing against the sixes but these, I mean, I, I love, these are one of my favorite Jordans of all time. So that's actually the exact reason why I sold my hair ones. I love the hair ones, fire colorway. But when I had them, every time I thought about wearing them, I'm like, you really about to wear the ones instead of the sevens? I feel like it's going to be the same thing with these. These are really nice, but there's going to be too many times where I'm like, yo, I'm about to wear the sixes. And I'm like, hmm, the sevens. So yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to go. So I don't know. I'm going to think about that and figure it out. Now, if you plan on copping these, you might want to go down a half size than what you normally wear because the Jordan 6s do run a little bigger than most other Jordans. Like, I normally wear a 9.5, but all my 6s, I always go for a 9 because that 9.5 just feels like it has a little bit too much space in the front. If you own the Retro Defining Moment 6s or the 2019 Infrared 6s, these are going to fit like those, so you can base it off of that. I don't expect the 
reseller needs to be that crazy so i probably wouldn't even invest in them as a reseller but good luck to everybody who's trying to cop these on june 5th it should be pretty easy thank you all for watching please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have the video notifications turned on and please make sure you stay safe and healthy and i'll see y'all next time